Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to run 3D slope stability analysis for an open bit. This example is provided in the, from the Rock Science Library. You can find this uh, example in the Rock Science Library under 3D, uh, under Settle 3D or Settle 3. So Settle 3 is using limit equilibrium analysis method to calculate the factor of safety for the most critical slip surface. The model was built by defining three surfaces and the top surface which re represent or uh, represent the existing ground was extruded or created as external surface. So uh, create external from surface is you, when, you, when you click on that icon, you will provide, you will create a volume and then volume from the top surface or the existing ground. And then you go to the 3D Bolloween and then you click on divide all geometry. And what will happen, you will provide volumes from the surfaces provided in the beginning. And then now you can deal with volumes because Settle 3, Settle 3 only can deal with volumes. After you create, after you click on divide all, now you can assign the material property for each layer and you will be able to define the solid stratigraphy in this model. The main objective of the video is to uh, define the area or tell the software the area that I'm interested in to calculate the slip surface, the most critical slip surface and then determine the factor of safety. In this example, I'm interested in this area and I want to tell the software to find the most critical slip surface only in this area. So um, what, uh, the, way, the easy way to do it uh, is to go to surfaces and then from surfaces, go to add search limit and then click on add search limit by box. You can see that the software draw a box here. You cannot see it in this window because it, the box is way below the model. So what I have to do here is to shift this box here in this area and tilt it and uh, make the search only in this. So here I, I click define by dimension. Here I can define the dimension of the box and uh, sorry, the, the box center, the coordinates of the box center. And here I can define the dimension of the box by defining the length, width and height of the box. So let's uh, talk about the height i need to shift it to the top close to our, my model oh this is the height so i need to shift it to the top here i need to shift it more nice like 5000 yep or maybe 6000 it's too much okay and this is maybe 350 so I changed the X coordinate for the box, box center and Z. Now I'm going to shift it this way, which is in Y direction. So I'm just going to reduce this from minus 81 to minus 150, maybe more 200, minus 200. So just this looks like about right. Uh, you can move it wherever you want. And here I'm going to change the dimensions. Okay, as you can see, I'm just concentrating in this area here. I'm just going to change the height. Okay, so it's going to go all the way to the bottom of the model. Once I'm satisfied with the dimensions and the center, the coordinates of the center, box center, I click on OK. Uh, this asks me if you want the search limit to be inside the box. Yes, I want it to be inside, so I just click OK. You can see now uh, I have a new thing here now. It says, says search limit which is this green box. You can hide it by click on this icon. 
you can unhide it by clicking again to the same icon okay so just i forgot to mention that in this example we have three different materials sandstone limestone and ore all these three models defined in terms of more columns with two parameters the friction angle friction angle and the co cohesions okay let's go back again to the projects project settings the units in kilopascal and uh, coordinates xyz methods i'm just going to choose one method for analysis in this case i'm, ju I'm just going to use jambo simplified method the more methods you choose the more time the analysis will take that's why i'm just choosing one to save some time click ok now the model is ready to analyze uh, you can click on compute and the model is going to start uh, calculating the factor of safety within this uh, volume inside that box as you can see here start uh, thinking and calculating based on one method only I'm just estimating the time of analysis will take maybe one to two minutes it's relatively fast comparing to other like uh, softwares so here we are dealing with complicated geometry and um, one minute is nothing remember in subtle, subtle 3d you are always you should always deal with volume so if you if you import the surfaces you have to convert all these surfaces to volume and able in order to make the software software uh, analyzed uh, and calculate the factor of safety and also you need to uh, define the external boundary in 3d this is a very important step as well in this example we defined the external boundary from the existing ground the analysis is done and we can now see the results by going to results here and click on the results we can see the factor of safety is 1.343 it's almost 1.3 you can see how the shape or the geometry of the failure mechanism you see This is the shape or the failure mechanism in three dimension. Very interesting. Okay. We can see all the surfaces or the slip surfaces at the same time, the critical one, by clicking on show all surfaces. It's going to take a few seconds to show all the surfaces. There is 820 surfaces look at this and this the purple line show the most critical one you can add the filter for example if I just go back here again and click here you can tell the software I just um you can tell it that to show only the factor of safety that goes from 1 to 2 so we are doing some filtering here click yes so here the software is just showing 1 to 2 Slip sur one to two the slip surface that has factor of safety equal one to two okay you can also show the material properties used in this module with uh, methods that were used to calculate the factor of safety by going to annotate click on overlay tables show method value table so this is the methods that was used if there is more than one method you will see all of them here go back again to enter uh, annotate click over all tables and then show material table you will see the material property used in this model in very organized and easy way the time of processing is relatively fast comparing to other software which is i really like now you can have just screenshot of this and put it in your report and it's ready to go 
So again, this example is provided by Rock Science. It is already exists in the Rock Science library. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.